Oh man, well welcome back to another video and uh, I'll tell you guys I'm really excited I got my new shirt in from the Evolving Angler podcast today. Super comfy and soft and I like it so I'm going to be rocking this probably quite a bit. But in today's video what I want to go over is just kind of some of the things I've learned on my first year on YouTube being monetized. Um, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I this might be useful to you, so you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned for it. Um, you know, a lot of people, whenever you get started in YouTube, you're so focused on getting monetized. Everybody, you know, wants to start making money, and really the things that you have to reach for YouTube to get monetized, they seem like these giant mountains when you first start out, and one of those is hitting a 1,000 subscribers. Um, seems like a huge thing. That was actually harder for me to hit than the, the watch time, and the watch time is 4,000 hours of watch time in a 365 day period. So that's a rolling 365 day period. So whatever is 365 days before now, that's when that watch time has to meet that threshold. Whenever I hit that threshold, mine was more close to about 8,000. So the watch time is more so what's going to produce a lot of that ad revenue for you. So if you have more watch time, you're probably going to make a little bit more money when you get monetized on YouTube. So if you've ever, if your channel is monetized, um, whether you're in the fishing niche or not, in the outdoors type niche, um, comment down below with how much you made in your first month being monetized. I'm really interested to see what you would have made. Um, for me, I'm going to start flashing that stuff up on the screen now, and we're going to go through the several months that I've been monetized during this year. All right, so let's start out with May. So as you can see, May starts out at zero. That's when I first started getting monetized. And if you look at this, all these are gonna be the same throughout the video. Um, it's gonna show the month at the top. It's gonna show that graph that shows about how much I'm making per day and the total at the bottom. So you can see my first month there, I made about $64.23. So obviously when that started, I got super motivated to make videos. Um, it was the spring. It's actually good for this niche that I'm in, the fishing and outdoorsy type stuff. So um, a lot of people watch fishing content in the spring and the summer, and then in the fall, it usually kind of tapers off, but we'll get to that. So let's move on to June. In June, you can see it kind of starts out a little bit lower and then it goes up and it has a few peaks in there. and those peaks are usually where you've published a video that's when your views kind of shoot up um, when that video comes out especially if that video does really well and that's usually kind of how like a starting youtube channel is is those videos when they first publish will usually kind of take off and if the algorithm doesn't pick them up and like really skyrocket the views you're not going to see like a huge uh you're going to see kind of like the mountains and valleys kind of deal on your video in the month of june i made 92 dollars and 18 cents and that was a pretty good month for me and so the rest of these i want to go pretty fast i might do a little bit more explanation on a few of them but i'm going to go through them pretty fast here july i went back down to 69 dollars and 12 cents had a pretty consistent month there with that peak towards the end more than likely when you go into your youtube analytics you can actually tell by which video is getting the most revenue which is pretty cool so i'll probably show a screenshot of that here and as you can see each video will be a different color and you can tell how much you're making based on each video and it's going to be those ones with those higher views that are going to be consistently making the most money for your channel one of my biggest videos has been that perception outlaw kayak review and then the flipping video that goes along with it they produce the most views when you really look at that probably the reason why is because it's a really budget friendly kayak a lot of people are looking at it that are thinking about getting into kayak fishing i don't do a ton of videos on it um, and really the reason why is just because I'm really not here to make money I mean it's nice but and I enjoy being able to reinvest that into my channel but really a lot of my other focuses this year haven't been on making videos with that kayak if I really wanted to double down on it I could probably make a bunch more videos on that kayak and really probably make a lot more money but I haven't so then let's move to August so in August I made about $56.09 and pretty consistent month until the end there and kind of had a little bit of a peak. 
Moving on to September, same thing. You can kind of see like the start of like a decline in my views and then we have a peak there at the end. Same thing here in October. You can kind of see the decline with a couple of spikes in there as videos have come out. And then in November, it's like a flat line there. And I will tell you guys that I really got kind of down on making videos. Um, I told you guys this is the most crazy time of year for me in my full-time job because I work in retail and it's super busy and I really just, it's just stressful. It's just stressful and it's hard to make videos. So I kind of went down in my amount of videos I published. I could see a huge impact by not publishing videos. So as they say, all these YouTube gurus will tell you, if you're making videos, you want to stay consistent and you want to keep publishing content and uh, that's going to really help your channel. If you look at all that together, it's really not a ton of money. Um, and if you're looking, especially as soon as you get monetized to make a ton of money, it's not going to happen. So, I mean, obviously you could have a channel that's way more successful than mine and make more money. It is nice to have a little bit of extra money. Basically, I've not made any money because everything that I've made, I've really reinvested. If you look at the year from May until December, and I just said that in December, I'm probably gonna make like $38. So if you look at that, I made $488.55. Hey, it's better than nothing and I enjoy fishing, but um, even if you look at like buying a new laptop computer, that completely wipes that out, which I did because I want to have more mobility and be able to go to like the coffee shop and edit videos and all that. So hopefully this helps you guys out. And if it did, I appreciate you commenting down below with how long you've been on YouTube, what kind of channel you have, or maybe if you're thinking about getting into YouTube, what you want to do. And let me know in the comments down below. But guys, if you're thinking of doing this, go ahead and give it a try. It's worth it. And it's a lot of fun and it is a lot of work. So I don't want to tell you that it's not, but it is rewarding. And I look forward to seeing you guys in 2022 as I continue to make videos on this channel. Have a good time. As always, guys, get outside, do something awesome. And uh, take somebody with you to get a chance. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.